Welcome to Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. It's the 29th of November. Um, topics that I had on the agenda include the 323, the 2.323 change log, a status report on the, the site being broken, site generation being broken for Jenkins.io, triage team status, Jenkins 2.319.1 upgrade guide and change log. And then a topic we've deferred for two weeks now, high level discussion on the opening content of managing and configuring Jenkins. Hi, Kristen. Then, hi, Kristen. Oh, hey, Thanks everyone. for joining. How's it going? Just great. So any, let's see, we've got, or I guess any topics you want to add to the agenda, Kristen or Meg? Uh, nope, I don't think I can. I can't think of any. Okay, cool. So, um, okay, if we start, Meg, anything from you? Nope. Okay, let's start in on the first thing then. Let's review that change log. So, all right, so here's what we've got. Okay, a developer item. Oh, and so this means we've got, uh, so we take notes work after to be done, changes to be done after the release. And this was a move developer topic to end of change list, of change log. Okay. All right, so we've got Run list stream no longer eagerly loads all build records. I'm not sure that's actually a developer topic because eagerly loading all build records is disastrous for performance. Kristen, should we appeal that one and say, no, we don't think this is developer. This is. Yes, I would. Yeah, I think this is a performance problem. Yeah, so I'm going to go, let's go to core and find it. Okay, PR. And here. Okay, and we'll just borrow this one for now. Okay. See, and then Jesse says, oh, no, it was Oleg that mentioned it on. Yeah, even Oleg is saying that about performance, so maybe that's a sign. Okay, good. So, <laughs> so the two of you are okay if we take this one out of developer and call it just a bug? Yes. All right, great. Okay, that's, that solves that one. Good. Okay. Then bump JNR POSIX from 3.11, to 3.1.11 to 3.1.12. Typically- I mean, Do you want to leave the text the same for that other one? Oh, good question. For me, and this then, was, I mean, it's sort oh, of, whoops, you're right. Now that it's- that I mean, I can think about it and say, yeah, that probably helps performance, but if we're leaving that for performance, that's kind of a wonky way to say it. Yeah, so if we said, um, what would we say then? improve performance by delaying by lazy loading of build records yes i'd say yeah i think lazy loading is a good term there and we probably don't need to then mention run list stream because that does seem very particular yeah how about how about like this so that if he if he's concerned we say there we go okay like there that what performance is it? Is that pipeline performance? Is it also freestyle? Is it build performance? Is it? No, it's probably UI, well, right? Yeah, I, I would guess it's UI rendering, right? Because yeah. it's anybody that uses a this runless stream method, and I don't know if anybody actually uses it, so I can't I can't confidently say which part of the code could be positively affected.
Okay. So the two of you are okay with that as a rephrasing? Sure. All right, cool. All right, good. Okay, so then next one, 5948. This is a library bump. I think we should just make it uh, skip. Users won't Sounds know what good. to do with it. Right. Okay. Next. Cut JEP to 324 customizable header. And this one really is a developer one, isn't it? Says there's a new extension point as an interface that allows you to just render a header and a default implementation. It says it's an RFE. Is that? Or that's just yeah, because it's, but it's following a it, chip? It, it is an RFE in the sense, but for me, it's an RFE that's only interesting to a developer. Okay. But I'm open to, it, it certainly is an RFE. It absolutely is. Oh, okay. And actually, that's a good one. We ought to include a link to the Ooh. JEP mm -hmm. afterwards. Add link to JEP. 35 in the RFE for extension, the header extension. Good. Okay. Back to the question, should this be, should we call this developer? There, at this point, there isn't anything a user will see different with it. It's just the addition of an API. Okay. Is that API documented somewhere? Uh, it that. is in this in this Jenkins enhancement proposal, and we'll provide a link in the uh, in the in the reference section. We'll provide a link. Has so the to documentation that. of the other header stuff been updated for this, or that's a really good point. Uh, there isn't other header stuff to update. That's oh this, okay. This is adding something that didn't exist. What was happening was CloudBees was having to do sort of what might you call it patches after the fact. Oh, okay. And this mm -hmm. is a way of allowing a plugin to to do something better so that they don't have to do patches to Jenkins core code every time they ship. Cool. So any objection to me making that a developer? Oh, it is, it is flagged as developer. Oh, cool. All right, so we just need to mark it correctly here and then move it to the end. And that one is 5909 as developer and move to the end. Okay, good. All right, next then. JCASC support for managing log recorders. Okay, this one needs a full stop on the end of the line. Oh, does this one need a full stop on the end of the line? Yes, it does. Okay. Sorry, just a minute. Back here, edit. Okay. Then this one was... 4538, that tells you something about how long lived that pull request is. Okay, and it is, where is his, oh, here we go. Add, there we go, managing log records. Okay, and I, for one, I'm delighted with this because I really need that in mind. Okay, anything, any other change there? Okay. All right, 5926, add path to form elements, giving stable selectors for UI testing. Just needs a full stop. OK, 
Okay, done. Okay, update remoting from 4.11.1 to 4.11.2 to fix code signing. Usually when we've done remoting upgrades, updates like this, we've included a link to the change log as a reference. Okay. Uh, trouble is this one doesn't have a change log. So maybe the answer there is add a change log for remoting 4.11.2 and uh, link to it. Yeah, luckily it doesn't sound like that's a very big problem, right? Like it's, if it's just, maybe it just sounds like someone didn't sign their commit or something else, but. Right, this, this actually is not a code change at all. Yeah, You're okay, correct. All this is, is when we, we delivered 4.11.1 mm -hmm. from, a, from a security development path and the security development path didn't go through the usual code signing process. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So what Daniel did is just created a 4.11.2 that is 4.11.1 with signed code. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> All right. And view as plain text from the polling log was behind the, the top bar. View as plain text shows correctly in the polling log page. Needs a hard stop, but other than that. Okay, any concerns or complaints there? Um, does that mean the text view is whatever, um, that text is what wasn't displaying correctly? Or it, it, it does, yeah. Hang on, I'll show you, I'll show you what he's fixed. So the I think his screenshot has a before and an after. So oh no, here's the here's the after. You see this blue text on the right hand uh -huh. side where it says view as plain text? Before his change, it was hidden, it was partially obscured by the gray bar that's above it. Okay, as then it is shown exactly in, what it says it is. Yeah, so here's the here's the uh, here's the example. Notice that view as plain text that you cannot see. Whoops, uh -huh. yes, yeah. That's because a because it is <laughs> completely hidden by the, the you know, it's, yeah. yes, if you're really careful, you could click it. If you're really, <laughs> really careful. Yeah, get right on the, just the right pixel. Oops. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And, and I was frightened by it and thought, oh no, is this a new thing introduced by UI changes? But I checked and it has been there at least for the last three uh, long-term support releases. So oh, okay. it, this is not a new bug. Let's see, and did I get that full stop entered onto the line? Yes, okay, good. So any, any other changes there needed? Then other things. I think that looks good. How about we generate the change log then? Oops. Am I not, wait a sec. I thought there was a, a way to run. Oh no, this is Jenkins.io, sorry. We have to go to core and it's GitHub Actions. And here, change log drafter, we say run the workflow now. Great, okay, so it's done. Anything else on that change log? All right, next topic then, broken Jenkins IO build. Um, so we've got a uh, problem with the Extensions indexer disk use. So the extensions indexer, in, indexer script uses more disk than our agents have by default. Uh, so that means over 25 gigabytes. by that job. And that's because it downloads the source code for every plugin, every Jenkins plugin.
and uh, need to increase the disk disk space or find another machine or dedicate an agent to that task. Nothing I think for us to do, I worked on it today. Daniel Beck helped with the investigation and I'll ask Damien to, to help guide it. Questions been asked um, already. Any questions there? Nope. Okay, triage team. So Meg, I think we need to have you accept the invitation. Just a minute, let me double check to be sure that you haven't already accepted it. Okay. I have not seen the invitation, so no. Well, there's a good reason for us to do this then. So I may need to resend the invitation. Okay, so if I look at teams here and we look for triage, because Diraj had also not accepted yet. So Kristen is in the team, Oleg's in the team and I am, and there are, now where do we see? Oh, here it is, two pending. Okay, so, so you have not received an invitation email, Meg? Right. I wonder, okay. I think I'm the, set up to go to mine, not to the cloudies. Yeah, that worries me that, so could you log into your GitHub account and double check where your email's going? Yes, that's exactly what I was proposing. And do. if you'd like, we can have you share your screen and then we'll, Kristen and I will coach you as you go through clicking. Oh, okay. Should I just do that here? Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah, let's do it. Because yeah. okay. then, then it'll probably be much faster than us guessing what you're seeing. Right. Um, I think security is set up so you can share. Yes, it is. Uh, so I should go back and share. Let's see. Um, and okay now that's good where now we need to find out where do you find invitations where does github show my invitations come on, come on, come on. Find... oh cool okay so meg on your top on your ur or url bar uh-huh. Do github.com slash org, O-R-G, yeah. or O-R-G-S. Um, okay, I was taking my email. Do you want to, what am no, yeah, just what again? This, Where you, do I want to go? What I'm seeing, I see, I see your GitHub. And so on the, in that URL bar, the Stack Overflow people say, um, Open up github.com slash ORGS, so orgs. Okay. Okay. Slash Jenkins dash infra slash invitation. Invitations? Invitation Plural? singular. Invitation. Singular. Try that. Okay. This is what Stack Overflow says. We'll see if it works. Hey! Wow, oh, nice, nice. <laughs> oh, now, who would have ever guessed that was the way to get yeah. there? Okay, right, good. Now you're at Interesting. Okay, so now- so You have to you've... know you've been invited and go and see. Okay. No, no, you should have received an email message. Right. But that's a different problem, right? Yes. So so that that I agree, It's that's a problem, but it's a different problem. So now the question is, does it show up for me that you have have joined the triage team or is there still something more we have to do? You are I now bet. a member of the triage team. Oh, wow, nice. Boom, so it automatically blah, blah, blah. Wow. added her. Because like, so that's the other thing I was like, I bet we're going to have to like add another, like do it again, like in a send another email or something. Right, oh, yeah. that's great. So, so, okay, so just a minute now, uh, Meg joined live during the session by opening, because we'll need this same thing for Diraj. So I've pasted that URL into the notes and it was Jenkins-infra, infra. Perfect, okay. Edit. 
And yeah, and my email set for my personal. Yeah, email. so you should you should have received it. it. I don't know, maybe it went into your spam. Who knows? Damn, I've been checking spam because stuff's been going in there. I haven't seen it, but who knows? Weird. Well, glad that welcome to the team. That's great. Victory. That's great. So this means I should theoretically get notification when new things come up that need to be triaged. Oh, that's a good question. What does it mean? If I remember right, what the triage team permissions mean is, let's see. I think you get notified, right? Like if you do, if um, it, the reviewers you, You're add allowed triage. to do triage, uh, so review of pull requests and issues. Uh, I don't know, however, if you're able to. So here, I'm going to create a new issue and let's see if the two of you get notified. Okay. Uh, no, that didn't help. Did it? Let's do it this way. Jenkins, GitHub, Jenkins. So issues and new issue. This is. What's something we want to do? We want to say, how about something about a wiki migration? Um, um, we don't have an issue yet for incorporating JCAST into the Manage Jenkins. Oh, good. Okay. I started to do too many issues for security, so then I didn't do any for managing. So very good. All right, the Jenkins config configuration as code. Ugh. Seriously, I cannot spell. That is embarrassing. Fingers, get it done. Okay, so plug in needs introductory documentation in Manage Jenkins with links to detailed documentation in the, and it's not a plugin, whoops. Oh no, it is a plugin, in the plugin. Okay, good. So now if this works, let's have, well, actually Meg, I'm gonna paste this into the chat, into the, um, Zoom chat, could you try opening this and share your screen with us and let's take a look at it okay. and see what, what you can do as a member of the triage team. All right. So you'll need to share your screen. Oh, okay. Um, And then I will confess that I have not logged in. Actually, to, oh, you haven't logged into uh, to GitHub? GitHub on my Chrome, on Chrome, just on Firefox. Oh, you can bring up Firefox. Why that's, we'll see either screen. Well, that's what, yes, that's what I'm doing. Only my um, ISO. Okay, let's go back and try. How do we select? select all but that does not copy all control c okay let's try this again there we go do 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 The network's been really flaky all weekend again. Interesting. Don't solved, but... Oh no. Well, we could always switch and see if Kristen could do it for us, and then see what her her premiere. That's interesting. It's progress. opening Atlassian. Okay, so that's different. This is trying to open. It wants me to log into Confluence. Yeah, but you you shouldn't need to. This is doing an Atlassian login that shouldn't be needed at all. So. So paste your your HTTP URL again, or your GitHub URL into that again. I mean the same one or 
Yeah, github.com. Yeah. yeah, that thing. Yep. There we go. Okay, there it goes. All right, so okay. now what feature, what things do you get that you didn't have before? Can you, oh, cl yeah, click on labels. Right. And I say like, I got an email ah, about this. You thing can you assign it. You could assign it. So, for instance, assignees there, you could assign it to me and you can label it. Ah, nice. Can I sign it to myself? Sure, absolutely. Since I started writing it and then discovered that it was more complicated than I thought, oh, mm -hmm. no. the material I could steal wasn't needed some work. I did see, like, I just checked my email and I did get notification about it. So, at least. Ooh. Or I don't know if I'm, it's just because I'm already on Jenkins. <laughs> it's like, it sends me everything Ooh. anyway, but we'll see. Okay, now Good. I'm supposed to be able to add, oh, there we go. And now the other thing that you can do is that right below that label selection, there is also a link this to a link this to a pull request. So when you Aha. when you're ready to submit a pull request, you could if you mention it this thing by number in the comment, you know, in your description as number four seven three five, it will link it automatically. Otherwise, you could come here and link it yourself. And then when you when the pull oh, okay. request is merged, then the bug, oh. the issue is automatically closed. Okay. <clears throat> oh, cool. Great. Excellent. Victory. Triage team works. Thank you. Okay, we can, I can steal back screen sharing now. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and you've seen enough of my screen, I assume. Yeah, and I, I oh. hope you can now see mine. And I here it is. Okay. Black. There yep. we go. Okay. Okay, good. All right. So we need to have Diraj uh, accept the invitation as well at that same URL. Okay, next topic was the 2.319.1 upgrade guide. And there's nothing that I need to report other than a new a new build is available that includes several more changes. And uh, Mark will send comments to the developer list, inviting other people to test it. Still on track to release on Wednesday. Okay, Meg, we got the topic. High level discussion of the opening. All right. What would you like to, to talk to it? Okay, well, first I wanted to say, um, actually, maybe I should go back and share screen and let's. Okay. Oh, well, the other. Do um, actually, why don't you do it? Why don't you go to or go to Jenkins? I was going to say, look at, let's look at what's there. Cool. Okay, I and can see do if that. everybody else agrees that it's kind of unacceptable. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you want to see Jenkins.io and you want to see manage Jenkins. Yes. System admin managing or Jenkins. managing. Managing Jenkins. Okay, man. All right. So this one. All right. Got it. Okay. Here we are. And I find this sort of content free. Now, if you go into the first section, configuring the system, uh -huh. we get blank. Okay. Now go to the, there is a PR that was submitted um, more than a year ago. Okay, and that's this but one right here from John. The UI changes, so it does not reflect those. It's still the old laundry list thing that we had under managing Jenkins, sort of. Yeah, so this was him copying. Oh, he was copying the content from the wiki page or from, yeah, I think this was a, a wiki migration. Content created as recommended on this issue. Just a minute. Oh, no, this was, this was, we just, we gave an outline and Jonathan did it. Okay. So Meg, back to your, how would you like to, how now, would you like to? What I would like to do is I would like to, under managing Jenkins, describe, describe briefly that it is, it has been modernized and the tiles and all this and go through those blocks that are now on there. 
and with a one or two line description of each one and then link from there into subsequent most of them are here but if there are any that aren't have each like so from there from there we'd get a link into configuring the system and or which actually should be global configuration i think now so when that we would tell it you know you can do all this stuff there and go here for details and then in global configuration it would step through all those fields and tell how you fill them out and what the ramifications are and links where appropriate um, so so the uh, i like that so uh, just to be sure i'm understanding your your the picture it for me was managing jenkins gets much of its inspiration from this page here the manage jenkins page is that right did i understand now there are a number of things which are outside of the scope of this page like features controlled with system properties but those we would retain but are you thinking we would start with the first this first this top level page or the top level plus this one that describes hey here's the ui there's a configure system global tool configuration manage plugins is that what is sort sort of what you're saying that sort of now the one the in general because i think that's the first place people are going to go now the mm -hmm. system properties is one that a little bit and then okay there's a relationship there's a system administration section too there and there is sort of you know i think it might be a little bit arbitrary what is administration and what is managing um yeah it's actually, now this has a lot of things that are not on the managing jenkins screen so one thought because there's I'm not sure I've seen any place where we just tell them how you start Jenkins up and what the system properties are and how you do those. It may be someplace, but. Well, so by start, do you mean initially administer it or do you mean install when, it? When you want to initialize the, the command line, the java.jar command mm. line where you put the system properties. Is there any place where we tell them how to do that? There is. There's this thing here, which is the war files instructions. It says download it and run it with this command. But Meg, are you talking about all the flags that are possible? Like, do we have the flags documented anywhere? Like all the different options? Is that what you're talking about for the running with a war file? Meg, um, yeah. not, oh, oh. We, there's there's all sorts of places where you see in the docs that if you're doing this, you can add this mm, okay. to that command line. But even there, we tell them to run it, but we don't tell them that would be a nice place to say you can add a lot of options that control how this runs and link them off to where it's discussed. I feel uh, like we had that on the wiki. As bad as that sounds, you know, this is like, I feel like that sure. used to be somewhere yeah. on the wiki, but I'm not sure if it, if it's something that we need to migrate over, maybe. Well, let's, let's, let's look for, no, I don't see anything here in the search. So I was assuming there would be a, a search, a searchable thing, but this is a completely different topic. So, yeah, so I think you've got a good point, Meg, the idea being let's go back there so the idea was here or in the installing either is great or installing on war we may want some place to link them to here are all the or here's how you discover the command line arguments that are available in your jenkins war file right and here's the documentation for the ones in a specific version of jenkins so right. this http port option for instance is one of those and there are many others right 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 that's why i was like i swear i've had to look them up before and i think it took me to the wiki which is why it's like i think we had it in the wiki but i'm not sure that it's oh there yeah that's at least something okay so here is well and let's see where is this oh so this is in the installing jenkins book jenkins parameters or in the installing jenkins section chapter and it lists the networking parameters, oh, miscellaneous good. parameters, and properties. Yeah, now, I'm not sure I would call this anything I'd be proud to send a novice to, but it, it certainly is attempting to describe it. Now, I, would this meet your need, Meg, of? of That's a, a good question. 
Okay, what is in under managing Jenkins? What is in that section about system properties? Oh, this talks about very special trapdoors that people can use to disable this or that feature. Now that looks to me like if we've got the split, that looks like that could move into system administration. Am I, do you? Yeah, no, no objection. For me, the challenge is wherever you move it, we risk breaking hyperlinks from other places. Right. I would be prone to say, let's leave it here and move it to the bottom. Okay. Move it down the priority list. Move it down, yeah. And, and then for the PR now, one thing is I could do one PR that does the index file and links to other files that are already there um, and call that done and close it, uh -huh. and merge it, and then go in and do other files, you know, do other PRs for the other files that we add. Um, the alternative is to do stub files for everything we want to reference. Yeah, and, and I'd, I'd rather- there, but I think it gets messy. I think it'd be better off to have, get the index file done. But do you agree? I do. I think I think the first method you proposed is healthier for us because stub files like like this one live for a very long time without getting content. Right. Much better do something all the way done, get it merged, and go to the next thing. Right. And I can and I can I think I can structure it in such a way that after we write walk through that managing Jenkins um, screen. At mm -hmm. the end, you can say we can. I can give them a short paragraph or something about the system properties and what you know. These are the, and these are described here. And yes. The, and and I might at that point also link them back to the piece that's in install because if I'm looking for that information, the we're not going to get it completely together, but we can at least link back and forth mm -hmm. between it. And I might go into that install list also and give them a link here. Say there are others. That you can use for more sophisticated uses and go here yeah yeah i mean having having the war files thing here linked to a place that says for more details of command line mm -hmm. arguments see this in this location mm -hmm. right yeah makes and sense then in there where you, where it has the um initial settings at the yeah, bottom of you the said initial settings there, this one, yeah. Oh, very right. last thing under, yeah. We'll link from the war file to there. And then from here, we can say there are, you know, other things you can do down the way. And those are discussed over in that other file. Great. And and then a separate, separate question that I'm not going to buy this week is how complete that other list, how long it's been since that thing's been updated. You mean this list? Or some um, other. No, that that one maybe is more. I might trust more than the one under managing Jenkins. So, by list here, you mean these topics? Uh, Jenkins features controlled with system properties. Oh, oh, that one actually that's maintained by Daniel Beck. It's actually reasonably oh, okay. Reasonably current. Oh, okay, that's good. It's it. Daniel's, oh, that's good to know. Okay. Yeah, when yeah. when Daniel when Daniel has to insert a trap door, he will. Nice. Let's see. What's an example of of one of the escape hatches that we just had? It was something about remoting. Uh, yeah, here it is. <laughs> this is one. So okay. this one was first added in Jenkins LTS two dot three oh three dot three. Uh huh escape hatch yes oh that's that's a fun label it's a escape hatch instead of an escape we'll have Oops. to fix that <laughs> i like that <laughs> but I, it, actually this is a great one for our our torah history it should be the scapegoat yeah exactly there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry sorry no it's not, but but escape hatch uh, okay yeah so that's <laughs> That that I've I've not seen that one before. That's that's really cute. But this God, I'm maybe 
instead of this being Jenkins features, should it be hidden features? I mean, you're on Jenkins IO. Do I need oh. Jenkins in the title of a subsection? Yeah, I think yeah. I think he brought that over intentionally, but okay. it's a good question. We could certainly ask it because it might be that it's really just features features controlled by system properties. Yeah, or features controlled with system properties. I was thinking about making it hidden features. Oh. See, and, but many of them are not hidden. Right, That's, and it's like, okay. I'm not sure we really want to say hidden. For, for instance, the, uh, let's see, what's a what's an example of, I, I could I could find you several okay, places. Okay, the where, introductory text just says they're all, kind of implies that they're all hidden. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, that may be what right, right. I just uh, maybe it's because it's the quotes on it, you know, the the quote unquote hidden. <laughs> so well, but, just, but I think you know what I'm I saying, where it's, it's like good... it's not really default or like not really. You probably don't need to use it, but you can. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a that's a good. You've got a good point, Meg. Advanced. It really does say that they are hidden features. So maybe the better phrasing here would be hidden features controlled with system properties. Yeah. Well, are any, can any of these be enabled without using the system properties? Uh, I don't know. I mean, what's the technical definition of hidden that they're not on the UI? Uh, yeah. So, and yes, there, I'm sure in this list, there is at least one thing that also has a UI representation somewhere. Yeah, I swear I saw one that actually referenced Flutter. So like, or, you know, like it was maybe a UI thing, so. Let's see, so yeah. there's the, the YUI debug. I, yeah, I tweak, tweak the URL. Well, I don't know if that, the footer URL, yeah, I don't know, that's fun. Good, good I'm question. Right. I could hit it. I could say something. These things are set by system properties, and most of them are not on the UI or something like that. Just immediately mouth it a little bit. Well, and, and, and I think I think this is a fair description. They are hidden okay. in that sense, so I wouldn't you wouldn't change it. But I think you've got a good point. Maybe this should be just hidden features, and then maybe CLI rather than being Jenkins CLI should be command line interface without the word Jenkins starting it. Yeah. Right. Cause you get it. Obviously we're in context of a chapter managing Jenkins. Yeah. yeah. Good insight. Okay. And then I don't know what the status is of securing Jenkins. Um, that PR is still sitting there. And, and I think there's only Daniel's, one Daniel Beck. Right, Daniel's just been booked. And so I, I think we just let it let it ride there and we may want to poke and say, hey, uh, anything more we need to do. Right. Is there anything that we can help you with, Meg, for like other review stuff? I mean, clearly like no one is staying, like can't. Um, I like, would but, love like, help a with a, like, Just like a reread. Okay, like a read through to say like, oh, I didn't understand this one thing because it's the first. Yeah, I'm not as familiar with it. Okay, I'll that look at it. That would be very useful. Because I know sometimes, at least for me, like when I'm getting into it, like it, everything makes sense, but <laughs> but it might not make sense to someone else because <laughs> you, you know need you're a separate you're, set of eyes. Yeah, right. and that is one thing. Oh, well, Daniel's pretty good. But right. That would you know it would be really good for somebody who hasn't dug into this to make sure that. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that would be wonderful. I and now we this can't one, go anywhere on anything with security. Vodic requested right. changes. Have you made those changes? Oh. Ah, well, yes, I you have. You have because you oh, resolved wait, them here. Yeah, I was like, wait, why is it? Yeah, okay. okay so <laughs> it shows. I think I. I think you've committed this fix, these changes, right? Because they're listed as resolved. Uh huh. So I think what we want to do is just request a new review from him. Okay, Kristen offered a suggestion. Yeah, let me make sure that, uh, let's see that make, I will go in this evening and make sure that every, all the comment, all the ones have been. Yeah, it's been like. I sort of for a while I was checking every two days and nothing was happening and I sort oh of no. just decided to add storage and moved on. So when, after you've confirmed it, just click this request, re-request review over here on the right hand side. Oh, so okay. we'll bring it up to, to Vodak because the little icon here says he's asked for changes. 
once you've made the changes, the way you trigger and say, I want you to look at it again as you click this this thing to say review it I again. I did not know how to do that. Perfect. Yeah. So that that by all okay. means. Okay. Yeah, because it may be that Daniel is thinking Vada is ham maybe hammered not as bad as Daniel is, but if Vada approved it, then we can go ahead, you know. And and, and you, you can, can certainly ask that question. Say, yeah, right. You can ask that question. Because then I've got some other PRs that we can't touch till we get this thing merged because it's just such a BMS. Yes, and Kristen, mm -hmm. this is much larger than a PR should be. Oh, it's all morning, good. Right? Sometimes, sometimes things spiral out of control. I totally get it. And then it's like, especially with certain things, it's like, well, I need this piece before I can do this. So then right. it just all ends up coming together. I totally, I totally get how, that, how things can grow. Yeah, when you're moving around a bunch of files, there's just, I have never found yes. a way to do it with small PRs. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Okay, I think that does it for me. I know I can, so I can go off and I will get some work done on that this week and hopefully a lot of work so that we're ready to move forward. Great, excellent. Okay, um, so we had a t discussion. You had the question on Jenkins configuration as code documentation. And I think I got an answer from Tim Jacome. So Tim recommended, he's one of the maintainers of that plugin recommends uh, an intro in on www.jenkins.io, but details in the plugin. I like that because there's a lot of details and we don't want to try to keep those up in the docs. Right, well, and 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 yeah, the sep keeping the, the docs close to the code seems like it's more likely to be up to date than if we allow them to become separated in two different repositories. Right, and I came him directly because what I have, I I worked a little bit with the CloudBees cask, uh -huh. but I don't see anything here on how I get started. For CloudBees, you can set, you know, you can have a master or your, a controller and you install this and it makes your bundles and you have all your files and then you can go in and start editing those. I don't know if I can do that or if I have to start with a blank file and fill in all the information. You, you start know. with a blank file. Yeah. So kind so, of, you know, and there and nothing about getting this and then checking it into your SCM and all of, I I have not found that any place. It right. may be someplace, but mm -hmm. yeah, and that's what I think belongs in the intro in the main docs. Yeah. And this Great. this thing that, that Diraj did gives you that kind of introduction to it. It has so, that information in it, right. Well, it, it it's a five minute or a two minute video clip that says, hey, this is how you do this, watch me do it. And the hope was it will inspire right. people. Oh, okay, it's not that hard, I can do it. Right, you said Mark. So I can start success. with that and maybe expand it and put pros around it and we'll, and we'll call that video. Right. And. Yeah, what I've, I've been doing. Oh, sorry, Kristen, you had a comment. Oh, no, I was just saying, like, I think that Marky said, like, videos were good for getting people to stay, stay on the pages and review stuff. So I'm glad we have the video for that. Yeah. Well, and, and we've been using that technique now with, with uh, some that Darren had done. Darren Pope had done some videos, and we just embed his videos. He's given us okay. permission. He says, hey, if I posted it publicly, you are welcome to embed it on the, on the site. And so we've done that with now, where would I find it? I know there's one in node in managing nodes. There we go. Yeah, this one. Perfect. And 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 really, at least for me, I find that quite attractive. It's oh yeah, here's a video. I can click it, or if I'm not a video type, right. the words are right below it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Great. And or if I watch the video and get the idea, I'm going to right. some of this stuff that's only video. So then I'm going back to the video and I'm sitting here with a piece of paper having to write down these long commands. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. After I find the right spot and get it paused at the right, right. spot so I can read it. Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, that Case. should keep me off the streets for the week. Great. Excellent. So I had some more interest on the modernizing a plugin blog post. Uh, Jean Marc Meeson uh, from CloudBees is. Adop it has adopted a plugin and used the, the rough, rough draft, the workshop material to guide him. And oh, so he's awesome. willing to review and we've got several other new adopters 
we just got somebody who offered to um, adopt the role strategy plugin. And so we're, we're, we're making progress, much better progress than we have in the past on getting people to adopt plugins. Oh, great. Having that tutorial out there probably makes it a more less scary thing to do. Yes. That or that or the the yeah I, I hope so and and if not if nothing else just the noise about adopting plugins tends to make people think oh maybe I should adopt a plugin right would it help to right. maybe get like a little quote from him about like now that you know like I've adopted the plugin and it's not scary like something along those lines of just like, yeah like, well and actually Jean Marc is going to is writing a blog post oh perfect okay good because I was like that would also maybe be a thing where maybe people are nervous right. about it because it does feel like a huge responsibility right like especially some of the more or, you know where it feels that it has a lot of downloads I mean we're not talking at the level of you know some like the like you know some of the git plugin or anything like that but yeah you know, some of them just oh it does kind of like oh my goodness these people are relying on this you know right. I've I'm releasing well, it. It sounds so, a little bit audacious. I mean, who am I to adopt a plugin? Right, exactly. Right. So right. it'd be nice to have a, oh, look, you know, I went through the process. It's like, it's not intimidating. It's just, it's, I like that I can help make things better type deal <laughs> and some positivity <laughs> from a recent adopter. So, well, well and, and you know, I'm, I got to check. But on the Jenkins IO page, we talk about getting started with contributing mm -hmm. and we tell them about the things that are out there for, you know, a first timer. Mm -hmm. but we never tell them what to do beyond that mm -hmm. once you get your feet wet and i would think adopting a plugin unless you unless you had a specific feature that you were working on or something but then adopting a plugin would be a good second step for some people right and and, and that's a good what what's next for me as soon as we have a series of small steps like this what's next becomes easier for people to identify. Oh, I've done that, I've done that. Oh, but I haven't done that. What, what's that about? Yeah, good. Right, and there I would put in, I mean, some of the stuff that I've been doing, um, look through the main Jenkins IO documentation and mm -hmm. look for sections that don't have content. Right, that right. you know I how see. to do. That would be a, another direction, you know, after you do the yeah. beginning things, there's multiple directions for you. Mm -hmm. So, cool. Very good. All right, so so still still I'm behind on this one, but continuing. So just I have to I have to tout it. Mark adopted the um, priority sorter plugin Ooh. Oh. and fixed a real bug. Yeah, I know, I know. It's <laughs> really seriously. It's not just well, I I realized. Okay, this was one of those satisfy your own own interests. Mm -hmm. I realized reading this reading a bug report that scared me. I thought, oh dear, we've got a new a new breaking problem. Investigated, oh no, it's been there for a while. Then realized that's weird. Why would it be broken like this? And then spent hours doing partitioning and binary search to find what was and still don't understand the details. This this was really a wildly cool investigation. I've never had a bug that perverse that, that I had to chase. Yeah. Why HTML class could possibly affect Java serialization. <laughs> I have no idea why. Who knows? <laughs> exactly, it's like... <laughs> What? Wizardry. Yeah. What? How is Wizardry. That, why can that possibly be doing what? Yes. And that's I, I have no concept of it. But Tim Jacome said he'll he'll eventually take a look at it, see if he can understand what's going on. I yeah. I threw up my hands and said, that's weird. I know how to right. fix this by removing some text. Yes. <laughs> exactly. It's like a... <laughs> all right. I think we're set for our session. Any other topics for today? I'm good. Me too. Thank you, so Meg. Much. Thank you, Kristen. Both of you have yeah. a great time. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Talk to y'all later. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye.